In today's episode, we're going to talk to you about how you save your money like the one percenters using a 75, 10, 15 rule. I'm Dr. J. I'm Dr. C. And welcome to, to a, a Two, two Doc, Doc Minds. Minds. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are a Two Doc Minds. Here on this channel, we like to talk to you about how you can make better decisions about your personal life and for your professional career. And today's topic, we're gonna talk to you about how to manage your money like a one percenter. Absolutely. But before we get into the topics, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button because we want you to get this content fresh when it rolls out on the street. Thank you so much, Dr. J. So let's get into this good topic about how we can use the 75, 10, 15 rule to live like a one percenter. Absolutely. Okay, let's get into it. Let's just start with 75. What does that 75% mean? So Dr. C, the 75% rule is simple. If you have a salary, 75% of that salary needs to go towards your living expenses, yes. your travel costs, your miscellaneous you know, expenditures Expensive. like mm -hmm. internet, food, right. right? It also needs to go to the discretionary funds, things that you do that you don't have to, right? right. It's those wants and not those needs, like going to the movies, going out to a show, mm -hmm. or going to hang out at a bar with friends. All those things need to be mm -hmm. in that 75%. You have to think of your 75% as the cost of living. Right. Okay. Whatever right. it costs to live, mm -hmm. it has to be below 75% of your annual income. So this 75% in essence, Dr. J, is the maximum amount we want to spend on discretionary items, yes. food, living expenses, and, and things like that. Yeah. This is a goal for us to yeah. set. So we won't go over that 75% and won't be able to manage the rest of the percentage of that we're going to talk about later on in this video. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, that 75% is very critical. Mm -hmm. And even if you can't reach the 75%, even if right now you have to spend 100% of your income, you want to use some techniques that we're going to talk about now yep. is looking at your expenditures and try to cut where you can. And people say, I can't cut. If you live in a two bedroom apartment, you live by yourself, you can cut. If you're driving a car in a metropolitan city and there's public transportation, you can cut. If you are buying clothes anywhere but at the Salvation Army, you can cut. You absolutely have to look at what you're doing and figure out how to do it cheaper. And lower your expenditures, get your side hustle and increase your income so that you can get to the 75%. It's critical that you get to the 75%. No one makes it to the one percenter without getting to the 75%. Yep. So let's all live like a one percenter and let's cut. Make sure that we're adhering to the 75% as much as we can. Of course, you could even go lower. Absolutely. But we're just going to set the standard of 75% for the 75, 10%, 15% rule. So going on and moving on to the next Absolutely. one. Go ahead. That's the 10% rule. Yep. And that requires us to what? Put 10% of our income away for savings. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you spend 70 75% on all your expenditures. That 10% goes to savings. And why is it critical to save 10%? Right. Well, the simple answer is this. Our goal and what Dr. C and Dr. J is suggesting is simple as this. If I save 10% of my income, I save for emergencies. Yeah. And then I go beyond that. I go to the three year rule. I want to save three years of what it costs to live. So if it costs me $50,000 to live, I need to save $150,000 and put it in high yield savings account, right? right? That's going to get you high yields, high interest rates, yep. right? So you can convert that interest into more money. Right. But more importantly, that $150,000 that you can save is F you money to your <laughs> boss. Yes, it is. It's F you money to That's things that video. you don't want. That's another video. It's F you money <laughs> to all the people that had you doing things that you just didn't want. Right. Now you can say F you, 
I can live three years off of that savings and do what the heck I want to do and live my dreams. Yeah. So it gives you permission to feel comfortable to go pursue the things that you want. The emergency funds are very important because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. You never know when you're going to not be able to afford your emergency services. It yeah. could be for health reasons. It could be to help a family member. It could be to move because all of a sudden a big tree fell on your house. So saving this money gives you a sense of comfortability. Absolutely. If, will, if that's a word. Yeah. <laughs> um, so having this 10% gives you a sense of security. Absolutely. Meaning that you don't have to worry where to get this money from if an emergency happens to come. Because you have that cushion. Because you have that level of security in your bank account. So moving on. No, but before we move on, right? Yeah. Because I want to tell a story because I want you all to know that this is real. I think this happened multiple times to me and you. In our career, I had a job where my boss tried to get me to do something I didn't want and then tried to give me an ultimatum about, well, is this job for you? Because I'm telling you, you have to do this. I thought it was unethical. So guess what I did? I said, well, I had my savings. And I said, go kick rocks. And I said, I quit. Yeah. And the great thing about it is then they got nervous, right? And then I ended up coming back as a consultant and making three times the money. Just because I had the money to say, I'm not doing anything unethical. I have the resources to just walk away. And when you have that power, it sure makes people shake in their boots. And I know you did that before, Dr. C. Oh, yeah. And so we, we practice that because it gives us so much flexibility in our life. So I know we got one more thing, one more thing. But before we get there, we want you to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification button because this last thing, who is going to be the game changer? No, it is. 15%. Yes. 15% is something some of us are not used to. But yep. this 15% is critical if you want to live like a one percenter. The 15% is going to go into your investments. Absolutely. And that's critical, right? Investing in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, 401ks, art, whatever it is that you like, being able to invest is very critical. I like investing because it gives you opportunities to learn yeah. about different ways of managing your money. Yeah. Investing teaches you that you can actually make money without having to work for it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's called passive income. And how do you get to the to the 1%? Well, even the one percenters, once they make more income, then they're able to save, right, more. So they're able to knock down that 75% and now get it down to 65. Oh, yeah. Get it down to 60. That's the advanced and, level, though. Correct. And then advanced level. Now they're able to save more money quickly. So they have their three-year cushion. And then now they're able to put a lot more into investments. So as you practice these, those numbers and those ratios, especially that 10 and 15% gets better. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get to the 1%. Because now you have the collateral to really invest and really invest in your current and your future. Yeah, that 75, 10, 15 rule could be used for you to really achieve the thing that you've been looking to achieve. Yeah. Now that you've employed that 75, 10, 15 rule, you can start maybe purchasing some um, classes on how to build your skills, or you could start traveling to places that you may want to relocate to, to work in different areas in your yeah, life. Absolutely. You may want to do a, a slew of different things. And that's If you take into this rule and take it and use it to build new habits, yeah. then you can open up doors that you didn't have before because then you have this new sense of security, like yeah, I mentioned earlier, absolutely. this new um, access to funding because you've managed your, your you've managed your uh, your income and your expenses appropriately. Absolutely, you can do what you want to do. So take this advice: 75, 10, 15 percent and use it in your life. And I promise you, from a financial standpoint, it will allow you to get to where you want to be and get you to be that one percenter. We know, we did it. I want you to continue to watch our show because we're going to be dropping great content. I'm Dr. J. <laughs> I'm Dr. C. And thank you for watching. A two-dog mind. Absolutely.